Hello there, my name is Samuel and this is a tutorial to show you how to consume REST APIs from your, your JS backend. Um, in this tutorial, we'll be consuming a REST API provided by a website named restcountries.eu and we'll be using Axios to make HTTP requests, we'll be using YAGS to access the command line argument and um, Yes, so REST countries, the API provided gives information about countries. Um, it allows for using different parameters. You can use the name, you can use the full name, you can use the list of codes, the currency, whatever to get countries information. In this tutorial, we'll be using the name parameter. So for, as an example, I will use this URL. As you can see, I've entered the name as Brazil and I have I'm using an, a Chrome extension named JSON Viewer. It gives me this view of it, this JSON view of the JSON response. So as you can see, the REST API gives a lot of information concerning the country, it gives the borders, it gives the native name, the numeric code, time zone. In this tutorial, we'll just be using the population. So the idea is to consume the REST API and get the population. Okay, let's go on. So for this, I have initialized a node app. We have initialized a node app. And as you can see, for now, the only thing that we have in the node app is package.json, which can be gotten by just doing an npm init. It gives an automatic assistance in entering the data for the package.json. In the package.json, you can get information like the name, the version of the app, description, the main, scripts, the author, the license, and a lot more actually. For this app, all I have done is the app.js, and I did this just to um, start up the tutorial in order to save time. So for now, I will only introduce one thing, the process.ag. So the process um, variable is a global variable, just like the document variable in in your web browser. If you've worked with uh, client-side JavaScript, so this is comparable to the document. And then the app is a is a property of that object, the process object. So I'm just going to do uh, run this node app to see what is in this property. Okay, so load after JS. So as you can see, what we have here is load itself, and then we have the folder directory. Okay, so this will be where we'll be stopping. If we go on to add an argument to this, let's say I add an argument called rain, as you can see, rain also appears. Okay, so that's what we'll be using to get the user input. So for now, if I do a console.log process go up through, then I get the second element in the array. And I do this again. You can see just name, just the rain prints out, just the variable rain. So that is basically how we'll be getting the information from the command prompt. So we'll be using uh, we'll be using a module known as YAGS to make things easier. So we'll just help here install YAGS. Save. As you can see here, I'm going to check out YAGS in the NPM website to give an idea of where you can find YAGS information. So YAGS helps you interactive command line to by passing arguments and so that's basically what YAGS does. Okay. So let's go on. I believe YAGS should be installed now. Okay. So we can use common JS to get YAGS in our work let's require it okay so const reacts 
people require EX okay. so the way YAX gets the arguments is or probably almost the same thing we're not going to dive into what YAX really does we're just going to use YAX so let's add I just name it the same thing for yags of argv argument. Okay. So we can do a console log for arg. Let's see what is actually there. Okay. So let's just do the same thing we've been doing since. And you can see this actually provides a better way to access everything. We don't have this node and then the folder directory anymore. So we can easily access the arguments that we really care about with just from just this object and then this array. And better still, we can do this. We can provide a flag or rather flag and then give a country name. Okay. So we can actually name the arguments we want to enter. I'm sure if you have used Node or you've used any package that runs on the command line, you have an idea of what we are going for already. But then this is how it works. So now we can easily get country by just accessing that property in the in the in the arguments object. So we don't need to stress anymore. We already know we are expecting country. So we can just but country country so let's do that now so as you can see we get Brazil so let's let me delete this so that we can call this what we are doing okay. we clearly get Brazil so we're already building up our app the next thing we will work with is Axios let's install Axios Axios can also be found in the found on the NPM website. Okay. Axios. Sorry, I don't add the save dev, save flag. It can actually just that is the default. Save flag is the default, so it's not necessary. But then it's advisable. So you can also find Axios on the NPM website. You can just go through to see what Axios does. Axios the package used to make HTTP requests. We'll be using it to consume the API. So as you can see, we can make simple HTTP requests using the pro using the promise style of asynchronous programming. So I believe Axios is also got it. So we'll just get Axios. Axios. So we we'll are making our first request using Axios. Good. Um, okay. So there are many methods of making requests using Axios. You can use the normal Axios.get. Okay. If you check the documentation here, it is suggested that you use the default property of Axios objects to get a method that helps you with auto completion of parameters and all that so we just add it up there default okay so let's go on so access.get so as you can see we get auto completion now access.get then the first thing is the url okay let's put this outside what we're doing so we have let url going to name the url something https that's 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 Actually, let me just copy the URL we've used before to see how that works. Okay, this is uh, okay. So we have this. So we already have the URL, and then we already used the get the URL. Now the second argument to the get method is usually a config object. The config object can contain a um, vast number of Properties it has the headers, um, it has headers it has param parameters as params. It can also take a number of stuff like uh, it can take data. Data is like a body object. 
Okay, so the axos uses an asynchronous style of programming. So we we'll use then. You can also use async await if you're familiar with that, but we'll be using then in this. In our the response, the response object is what is resolved by axios. Okay, so let's just do a console.log of response to see what is in the response. Okay. Um, let's also catch in case of errors to the HTTP request error. I'm using arrow functions for these and the error. Okay. So let's run that. So load app.js. Okay, it's taking time. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of different things here that come with the response. But then we're going to make it so that we're going to filter this information so that what we get is just the information from this API directly. What is in the body object of this API's response. So Axios appends it to the data. Okay. So if we do, if we add, if we get just the data property of this response, we can see, let's play this first, you can see that what we get is just what we need exactly, just as we saw it in the browser. So as you can see what we are looking for, what we are looking to work with is the population. As you can see it's an array that is returned. Now it can happen that when you enter a name, you get more than one result. So it's an array that is returned. So the first thing we will do is, let's just make this country equal to we would be using just the first um, element in the array we would assume that that element is the most likely to be correct related to our search okay so let's just specific country dot population which is exactly what we want to work with so we can go on and try that again and make sure that we're getting just what we want so we get the population of people that are in Brazil so that's perfect we're pretty much done with what we're working with but then before I continue let's just um, talk about axios a little bit now axios has a number of methods we can use the put um, the patch Axios that you can use the put, use the patch, the delete. Basically, the normal HTTP methods are all accepted in Axios. And then there's an, there's an easier way of writing or making response um, requests with Axios. You can put in um, the method. So you can just put in get. Instead of going through this method where we use the append the get method to Axios directly, you can use this as well. You can also attach params to this. You can also add, write the URL and so on and so forth. So this is just a simple response. Now, remember that we are getting the country from this. So let's just put all this in the if statement to make sure that we don't run anything um, if this is not available. So, okay. Let's put this somewhere. Country. We the country. We remove all our console logs just in the minute. Let's remove this. Now, if country does not exist, or rather, if country exists, we're going to make the request. Okay. Request us to leave this. Sorry, we should have cut that. Let's leave this. So here, yeah, instead of this, we'll be using uh, template literals. Okay, so I'll just move this at first. Remove it. Uh, use template literals instead. Now here yeah, we'll put country the variable. Okay. Um, country. So yes, we'll be getting the exact population, and then if country does not 
is not um, found else you can just do a console.log please enter a country that is if the user does not enter a country okay so yes so basically we are done with what we're working with we're just doing a console.log of the population to make it neat you can just add the population here the string to show that that's what we're working with okay so let's try that again this is basically all we're going to do axios can make put post requests as well but this is just a get request okay so let's get in our terminal again but this time we would append the country flag country flag and then let's give it nigeria as you can see the population in nigeria is also this now let's give it without anything so the country file is not available please enter a country so we are done with this tutorial thank you for watching have a good day